Yes, yes, welcome back to another Up the Football League. We go the People United career mode, and we're on a fucking high at this moment in time because, in real life, scoring a last minute win against Derby to go further in the league, to stay further in the league, I should say. How we're on this career mode, it's looking a bit dark and gloomy at the moment. We're 12th in the league, and we are six points off playoffs. Okay, we've got Wickham next, so we're literally three points above us. It's a big game, and then after Wickham, we've got an away day at Wigan. So, big game's coming up. However, at the start of this series, I said, we're going to keep this realistic. So that means players who leave the club, <laughs> we sell. Players who sign, we buy, if they're on FIFA. So that means one man we're going to have to sell in January. And that is Johnson Clark Harris. Obviously, he's left in real life. Uh, well, he's not left as we speak, but he didn't play against RB. So whether he actually leaves or not, I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens with that. And then obviously, Kyoso. Is he saying, is he not? Now, as I'm recording this, so probably when this goes up, you'll know what it's all about. People or players are posting eye emojis all over the socials. So whether that means Kyoso staying, whether that means Ronnie Edwards has got a big deal to a Prem club, Clark Harris is like, who actually knows? But yeah, enough waffling on. Let's get into the first game. Wick him at home. We need the three points. Up the borough. So the players are arriving at the Western Homes. Look at them all touching the badge. Big game this for the push. We've got the shirt on. we got the push shirt on. We've got the scarf behind us, which I'll probably get in a second. This is a big game at the Western Homes. You need 2-2 two, two in real life. We need the three points today. No more. We, can't, we, can't, we literally cannot drop points in this episode. That's how big it is getting at this moment in time. Up the bar. Bit of defending to the early on. Hey, lads, get the ball clear. Don't you dare stop. No, this is an awful start. Get it clear, lads. Defend as a unit. Defend. Love it, Ronnie. Love it, Ronnie. Now get it clear. Love that. Joe Randall. Go on the counter, my son. Ricky J. Jones is. Oh, my heart's full with that bloke at the moment. What a player. Peter Chioso. We have a little bit of space to run into. Ephraim Mason Clark sends his defender away. Cuts in. Gives it to Poku. Back to Mason Clark. Just shoot, mate. Mason Clark's in with the ball on the right hand side. Back heels it to Archie Collins. Head to Kipriano. Poku. Can't get a shot away here. What's going on here? Joe Randall. Set him. This is good build up, this. Put the ball in. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yes! Archie Collins. Come on, Bora. What a start. 1 0 to the posh, baby. Woo! Won the ball straight from kickoff, and Joe Randall gives it straight away. The intent, the aggression. The passion I'm seeing from this team in the first 20 minutes is incredible. Unit. We can come forward. Ball in. Headed on. Easy for Villa Kapic. Easy. 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 Joe Randall gives it to Poku. Back to Joe Randall. Give it to Hector. Mason Clark. Archie Collins gets the ball stuck under his feet. Mason Clark, it falls to him. Shoots. Blocked. Poku on the right hand side. Into Joe Randall. Give him options, lads. Any chance here? Collins. Ricky J. Jones. Good save from the goalkeeper, but the push are coming forwards. Ball in from Poku. Headed clear to Archie Collins. To Ronnie Edwards. Goes for goal. Blocked. Dealt with by Wickham. 1-0 posh. Wickham coming forward from the, from the counter-attack. Leahy takes a shot. Wide. Calm. Composure, lads. Get it through to half time at 1 0, and we're all happy. Peter Kiyosha on the right hand side here. Looking for a bit of support. It's fine, we can just hold up the play. We've got plenty of time left in this game here. Poku gives it to Kipriano. Into Joe Randall. Oh, I can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to lay it off there. But Wickham looked to come forward. This is a game where we've been so dominant in. We need to get this second goal to cement the deal. Joe Randall to Archie Collins. Into Poku. Kiyoso making a run. Fall over to Kiyoso. Shoot. Kiyoso. Yes. And that should be that. Should. Because you never know this team. Peter Kiyoso. We want you to stay. We want you to stay. Peter Kiyoso. We want you to stay. 2-0. Ricky J. Jones bursts into the penalty area. Runs into Tafazoli. Cleared away by Wickham. 12 minutes to go here. 
We are making two changes, Fuchs and Adjiboy coming on in due course when the ball next time is out of play. Kipiano Vandal will be coming off. Taylor, ball over. Cannot concede a goal here. That's offside, Lino. Offside. <laughs> offside. Eight minutes to go. And the changes will now come. Eight minutes to go. And we look in control. Let's get the clean sheet. Let's get the three points. Let's start off this episode with a dub. Peter Kiyose beats his man again. Gives it to David Edgeboy. David Edgeboy. Space. Shoots. 3-0 to the posh. And that is a way to start the episode. An assist and a goal from Kiyoso. A goal from David Adjiboy. What a start. 3-0 to the posh. And that is that. So the table, as said here, so we beat Wickham, so we go above Wickham on goal difference. But, as you can see in my face cam, Wigan away is our next game, okay? And they're two points above us. The table's so close. Look at that, like, six points to break 11th to 4th. But, if we beat Wigan and Portsmouth lose, we will go above Portsmouth on goal difference, I presume. So, well, presuming the results go away, so Resin drop points, Lincoln drop points. But that's a great start to the episode. We've got Warsaw the Wainax in the FA Cup, so we're going to sim that. Uh, I'll make a few changes to that just because it's the FA Cup. Uh, obviously, we're not going to underestimate the FA Cup, but not, not being funny, we should be beating Warsaw. Like, we should be beating Warsaw, whatever team we play. So let's go into that game, and we've got a big one away to Wigan in the league. <sighs> so the Warsaw game is here. The team lineup is underneath my face. We, got, we made a few changes today. Kept a few players in, but we made a few changes at the back as well. Uh, but yeah, Josh Knight with the captain's armband. And we've had a good start here so far. Ball into the penalty area. And we've won the lap already. Poku makes it 1-0 to the posh. Mate, what a start to this episode. Two early goals. The Havillers have been booked seven minutes into the game. Have a fucking word with yourself, referee, because that is too early on for a game. But we've won the lap already to Warsaw. Dub start. Oh, what did I just say? Dub start and we concede straight away. It's fine. <laughs> We're going to win this game. Posh coming forward into the penalty area. Squares it. Blocked. Shoots. Save with the goalkeeper. Good response from the goal. There's your stats on screen there for you. Completing at a dominance so far. Look at the space that Sturge got on the right-hand side. Play it into him. And again, into the penalty area now. Get it in and Warsaw will deal with it. Posh come forward. Ball into the penalty area. Poku. Shoot. Yes! Jacob Wakelin scores! Before half-time. Just what we needed. 2-1 to the Posh. Please, just don't concede now. We'll see this through to half-time, hopefully. That should be that, ref. No other time, that should be that. Half-time. Completely out of dominance. 2-1 from the posh. Just see this out now. Posh coming forward. Ball in. Should be. Good save from the goalkeeper. That would have sealed the deal. As you can see, we made two changes. Obviously, on Fuchs, come on. But that would have sealed the deal. With 18 minutes to go here, Warsaw will feel for like they're back in the game here. Unless we get a second goal, Joe Randall looking to come through. And Joe Randall's actually pulled out of an injury. Oh, shit. Joe Randall's injured. Um, oh, it's not what we needed. We'll bring on Mason Clark, but that is not what we needed. Joe Randall injury. Oh, dear. Warsaw come forward. Warsaw 2-2. Two, two. And Warsaw back in the game at 2-2 two, two with seven minutes to go here. Oh, no. I need a response here from the lads. Come on. Come on. But get get that ball out wide. Look at the space we've got out wide. Good. Good positive play. Ball forward here. Posh with the ball. One minute to go. Here we go. Here we go. You can't blow the whistle there. Hang on a second here then, Lino. You can't blow the whistle there. Unless it was also, I don't know, because I'm obviously watching it on, uh, you know, dotted players. But... You can't blow the whistle there. I mean, 2-2. Two, two. Got a replay at the Western Home Stadium. And we've got Wigan next. And Joe Randall's injured. And it wasn't a two-week injury. Joe Randall has suffered an ACL injury. And will be out for seven months. We might need to scrap the realistic bit. I need players to sign in January to replace him. Because Mason Clark, if he gets injured, we've got no left winger. Because Ricky's playing up front. Oh, dear. So, at the start of this video, I said we were going to make it realistic. But that's gone out the window now. Because 
Joe Rand was up for seven months in real life. So this is the team we're going to go with. Obviously, David Agerboy has been in good form recently, so he plays. Ricky J. Jones drops to the bench. Clark Harris up top. Mason Clark on the left-hand side. But that's the team we're going for against Wigan away. It's a massive game. Let's go there. Let's get the three points. And let's move above them in the table. So here we go. This is a big game, this. This is a big game. We need the three points. Not a draw. We need the three points here. Clark Harris back in the team. So that's a massive, massive boost. A bit more presence up front. Obviously, Ricky J. Jones in behind with the pace. And Ricky, um, obviously, Clark Harris is just more of a physique striker. Holds up the ball. But it's in a must win. Three points. We go above them. We could even go to the playoffs. Supports and flus and results go our way. Let's get on to the game. Wigan starting the better team here. Ball in. Shot. Seven minutes on the clock, we're on the down, and I don't even think we've touched the ball. And he's at the camera already. Posh looking for a quick response. Poku saved by Amos. That is the response we needed from the goal. And Archie Collins goes up to take the corner. But that is what I wanted from the lads after going 1 0 down early on. Now we've got a chance to whip the ball into the box here, and our big guns get your head on it. Come on, boys. Archie Collins to take the corner ball. Ball in from Archie Collins. Keeper comes out. Keeper collects 1-0 Wigan. Wigan in here. Bit of space. Good defending there from Harrison Bowers. You have to do that. That was a goal scoring opportunity. 10 minutes to go to half time here. And we just haven't got going just yet. Peter Kioso. Harrison Bowers looking to make the run on the left-hand side. Poku. Mason Clark. Harrison Bowers on the left-hand side. Just as I said. Into Mason Clark. Looking for support. Holds off the ball. Back to Harrison Bowers. Back to Mason Clark. In the midfield to have Poku, Archie Collins, Hector Kipriani, Johnson Clark Harris holds him up. Mason Clark! Bang! Just like that, the posh come back. And that is a well worked team goal. Look at that ball from Harrison. Look at that. And Mason Clark, bang! Makes it 1 1 to the posh before half time. Just what we needed. Come on! Poku, ball forward, good start from the posh. Straight away from kickoff, looking to go forward. There's the away end there. And here's a goal for Mason Clark again. Look at that for a finish. Keeper questionable, but I don't care. It's 1-1. One, one. I'm about to take this corner. So Archie Collins to take the corner. Ball into the box near post this time. Away by Jones. Poku into Mason Clark. Archie Collins into Poku. With a bit of space now. Goes to the back heel, almost worked out. Pocky shields the ball really well. Kiosa, can he get the ball into the penalty area? He does. Jono! Ja! Johnson Clark Harris back in the team, back in the goals. And Posh make it 2 1 against Wigan. The comeback complete. What a goal that is. What a ball from Kiosa. And what an header from Clark Harris. What did I say? More physique in the box. He has a different thing to what Vicky J. Jones is. Look at that. Shield him off. What a header that is. 2-1 to the Bosch. Now Wigan looking to come forward to respond. Cleared away by Archie Collins. Pierce now for Wigan. Looking to respond from the goal from Jono. Shaw. Smith. Posh defending well. Archie Collins holds him off. Harrison Bowers looks to do the same. Just hold him off. Just hold him off. 20 minutes to go here. Claire on the right hand side here. Away. Get out of the way. Really good from head to kick on. And now Postrick to come forward here with Johnson Clark Harris. 3 1 would be the dagger in the hearts for Wigan Athletic. David Boy plays it back. Hey! We see that tackle on him there. Josh Knight with a bit of space. Poku into Boy. Ref! Really good from David Boy there. Love that from you, son. Josh Knight plays it out to Mason Clark. Ricky J. Jones is coming for Poku, by the way, as you can see in the top left of the screen. Harrison Burrows, through ball to Mason Clark. Ephraim Mason Clark looking to get it through to Harrison Burrows. He can't lang. Harrison Burrows comes across. Claire. Eight minutes to go here at Wigan. And Posh are still 2-1 up as we speak. But we all know what happens, really. We all know what happens. What a game we've got. A Wigan, by the way. 2-1 against Port Vale. You can't say because of my face cam. But ball in here from Smith. Posh up to defend. Ball in. Away. Good save, Bobby Lekapic. Calm. Three minutes to go. 2-1. One. one last chance here, maybe, for Wigan. Two minutes of added time here. Posh just need to get the ball, and they've won the game. Won the Edwards, that's brilliant. Ref, that'll do me, ref. Ref, that'll do me. Ball in, Ronnie Edwards gets a clear. This is it, now or never for Wigan. This 
is the last chance you're going to get to score. The goalkeeper's up. Wigan with the ball in. Get it clear, lads. Yes, Josh and I win that, son. Ref, come on. Come on. Get in there. That's fucking massive three points. Come on. What a three points for the posh, that is. Oh, Johnson Clark has the winner as well. It's just written in the stars. Let's have a look at the table because that means we go above Wigan. John, I, oh, I love him. Come on. So the table up that we moved up to eighth in the league. However, Portsmouth have got a game in hand of us and they've not played yet. So Portsmouth when they obviously got above us. But look at that. It's beautiful reading. We're two points off playoffs. They've got Cheltenham away and Cheltenham are 15 from the table. So you never know. They could do something about that and they could spoil the Portsmouth party. But that table looks really good as we speak. Now we are 14 points off the top of the league to Derby and 12 off Fleetwood. So... I'm not going to say they're out of reach yet because we're tournament games into the season. However, the playoffs, we're two points off it. We've got a massive game against Bolton next at home. What a start. What an episode this has been so far. So back at the Western Homes for Posh against Bolton. A chance to move into the playoffs. A chance to make it three wins and three in this episode in the league. Made a few changes. Well, one change. Add your boy out. Uh, Ricky J. Jones in. So, yeah. Clark Carey stays up top. Big game this. Chance to move to the playoffs, as I said. Let's have it, Boa. Come on! Posh had a good start here, keeping the ball through. Oh, what a ball that is! Johnson Clark Harris. Ball in. Blocked. Bolton to get it clear. Ooh. But it's a good start. They're keeping the ball. Bolton just haven't got going yet. But, you know, they probably take one chance for them to get going and probably score it. But good start from the Posh. 0 0 in the first 15. Ricky J. Jones on the left-hand side here. Bursts into the penalty area. Plays it to Mason Clark. Goes for goal. Ref. Ref. No penalty. Good start again from the posh. Look at the pressure putting on here. And Bolton actually do really well to get out of that. Fair play to him. Kip Piani looking to come across. Bolton coming forward. Look at the space they've got. Harrison Bow is out of position. Ronnie Edwards comes across to cover. Holds him off. Into the penalty area. Here comes Charles. Bolton. Shoots. Good save by Bila Capit. First actual shot of the game. And it's saved by Bilo. So the corner for Bolton. Taking short to Charles. Sends Ricky out of the game. Charles looking to get a shot away. Good from Harrison Burrows. Oh, I just knew that was going to go in when I lost the ball. Bolton make it 1-0. I just knew when Ricky lost that ball. He, oh, but we'll make it 1-0 But no time to panic We know what happened last time We went 1-0 up 1-0 down So we come back And we won 2-1 Same again please Boa Bolton again causing a threat To the posh defence Into the penalty area They come Get to half time at 1-0 in It'll be good for posh After a good start They've been on the ropes here Since the goal Good there from Archie Collins Plays it back to Billa Kapic Ronnie Edwards Maybe one last chance for half time. If Posh get on with it. One minute of other time here. Kipriani. And that's half time. 1 0 to Bolton at half time. Not a good half, really, from the 20th minute onwards. Poor. Bolton into the penalty area. Shoots. Good save by the Capic. Good start to the second half again from Bolton. And we just haven't got going here in this game so far. All we need is like a chance to spark to liven the crowd up. Here comes Pocky on the counter attack now. Is this what I'm on about? Is this the chance that I'm on about? Pocky on the right hand side. Plays it into Mason Clark. Sits one down. Pocky. Bolton back and looking strong. Into the corner we go. Throw in for Posh. That's better. That's better. Just get, get the lads at the... Peter Chioso. Ricky J. Jones. Hector Kipriani. Archie Collins. Have a pop. Kipriani. Kipriani! Oh, what a save! What a save! Oh, we needed that to go in. We needed that to go in, man. Ricky J. Jones. It's a poor touch. Mason Clark looks to keep it alive. He does just that. Good. Come on. That's, that chance has made a spot. It's a poor pass from Ricky, man. That's an awful ball and Bolton to counter attack. That's a shocking ball back from Ricky J. Jones. I'm not going to lie to you. Here come Bolton. 
And good from Harrison Burrows. Mason Clark. Ricky J. Jones. Look at the space Mason Clark's in if you can find him. Clark Harris. Mason Clark. F1. Take him on. Shot blocked. Ten minutes to go here. 1-0 Bolton. One last chance for Posh. It's cleared away. And that's going to be that, isn't it? And that is that. A 1-0 defeat at home to Bolton. The run ends. And it's just so frustrating. The chance. Like... It's, it's mad that the, the goal that separates us is a mistake. And that's, what, that's that's annoying. But it's a defeat. The run ends in the league. I mean, to be honest with you, they were the better team. And we were shocking. Absolutely shocking. Also, at home in the FA Cup. It's the FA Cup replay. We're going to quick see it. Fingers crossed we win. And the FA Cup comes to an end. In the final game of the episode, we look to bounce back from those two disappointing defeats. Sam Smith used to play for Cambridge. You scum bastard! You scum bastard! It's a big game against Reading. Three points required. They're fifth in the league, five points above us. Let's close the gap. Let's get the dub. Come on, Borough. Put the right hand side offside. Stay on side. Stay on side. Reading, Reading. Stay on side. Got a one, got a wave one there though. Stop taking the mic here. Peter Kiyosu with a bit of space on the right hand side here. Bursted into the penalty area. Ball in. It's an awful ball in a button collects. There was no one in the penalty box there to be fair to. It's just one player and that was Ricky Jensen at the back post. So he tried to find, but no one was in there. Peter Kiyosu on the right hand side here. Bit of space now. Clark Harris. Space open up there to shoot. Johnson Clark Harris. Have a crack. David Edge, boy! Good save by Button. Push coming forward now. And the crowd react. Come on! Everyone Mason Clark to take the corner ball. Whips it in. Peter Kiyoso's there. Peter Kiyoso saved by Button. Routine save that. But good promising signs for the Posh. And Redding, I've got a player down here. So they're probably going to have to take him off. Space now for Redding. Guinness Walker. Kiyoso goes across. Does well to make him go backwards. Edge, boy now comes across. Kamara plays it to wing. Wing shoots. Good save by Billy Kapic. Palms it straight to Harrison Burrows. Posh run out. Well, it's nil nil, but we can't be doing these draws. We need these wins. We need to turn these draws into wins, man. Clark Harris. Harrison Burrows now before half time. Is there a bit of chance here for Posh to make it 1 0? Kyosha on the right hand side in a bit of space. Fuchs into David Adjiboy. Mason Clark. Ricky J. Jones for Boa. Looking to take them before half time. Harrison Bowes with a bit of space. You need to get into the box, lad. Ricky J. Jones. Harrison Burrows. Into Johnson Clark Harris. Harrison Burrows. Ephraim Mason Clark. Is this it? Is this it? David shoots. Blocked. And that'll be that for the first half. Nil nil. But promising signs there at the end of the first half. Ricky J. Jones for Posh. We are actually playing now, so yeah. If we score, that's why. Here we go. Fuchs, 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 shoots. Come on! Come on! In a must win game, in a must win game, a player who struggled to play this season pops up with the gold and push make it 1 0 away to Reading. Come on! They're just not on the ball. All Posh have got to do now is just keep possession, make it a little bit boring for your home fans. All we've got to do is keep the ball. We'll see out this 1 0 win if we just hold the ball. It's a massive win this if we can get over the line. Ricky J. Jones, Harrison Burrows. Into Fuchs. Kipiano. Gives it straight back to Guinness Walker. Just saying, we keep the ball. This could be it for Reading. One last chance for Reading to make it 2 1 1. Ronnie Edwards tries to hack him out. Ball forward. Goodbye, Josh Knight. And they've got a free kick here with a minute to go. We're, take, we're taking off Harrison Burrows and Fuchs. This is it for Reading. It's now or never. Ball into the penalty area. What a save by Bilai Kapic. I thought it was in. I honestly thought for all money that was in. And Bilai Kapic has just won us the game. Holy moly, what a save that is. The rain on the pitch made that so awkward. I thought it went in. Because the rain had spewed up after he saved it. And I thought it went in. But that is a massive, massive win to end the episode. A 1-0 win away to Reading. Boy, we needed that. 
So to end a very good episode in the league, actually, in the cup, we don't talk about it. But we are only two points off Reading now after that win. We've got Wickham next, who we did beat at the start of this episode. So that's funny how we got them at the start of next episodes. Beat them away. We could be in the playoffs if Reading lose to Wigan, who they play. So it's a massive, massive, massive few weeks we've got coming up. Lincoln as well. They've got a tough game against Stevenage. We're 12 points at the top, but we're not worrying about the top of the league. We're 11 points off second, but two points off playoffs. It's all so... Look how close it is. So from Barnsley in 12th to Reading, they're six points separated. This is why we love the Sky Bet League one. This is why we love the EFL. It's all to play for in the next episode. Away to Wickham. Thank you all for watching. It's been a great episode, and I'll see you all in the next episode in the coming days. See you in a bit.